Let me share with you some experiments we did at HCL. Let me share with you how we did it. <clears throat> let me share with you the results of those experiments. But upfront, let me share with you that I believe they are experiments, they are small catalyst actions. Uh, some of them we have got right, a lot of them we have got wrong. Uh, but the very fact that only a few we got right have created a huge value for HCL. The reason I'm talking to you is I believe we are only 10% done and 90% still needs to be discovered. And I think the first catalyst action is a story of an ant. An ant is an ant is an ant. It can be a fast walking ant, a rich ant, an ant with a Mercedes or a, <laughs> or, or a flying ant, but ant is an ant. It is very important for organizations as a starting step to want to be a butterfly. If you want to be a butterfly, not only you have to will to be a butterfly, but you have to stop being an ant. And therefore, the first catalyst thought for you to think about is that there is no half big measures. So when you execute any of the catalysts which I talked about, you need to try and create conviction amongst yourself that yes, that's what I want to do and take it to the extreme. If we don't push the envelope and take it to the extreme and do half big action, I don't think transformation will happen. So when you decide you want to be a butterfly, uh, stop being an ant. That's, that's my first catalyst advice. The second is, you know, the, the most difficult part of, of the transformation is how do, we, how do you make the reverse accountability happen? And I think there is an understanding there are power centers and value centers. If you understand power centers, these power centers are largely around enabling functions. HR, finance, administration, not that they want to be, but because the controls are so important that they create power centers in those organizations. And to get anything done in the organization from this power center is a very long exercise. So our catalyst action in HCL was to create what we call a smart service desk, a trouble ticketing system where any employee can open any trouble ticket on any of the enabling functions or actually even me as a CEO and there is a limited time which we have to close the ticket and it's the employee who actually closes the ticket. That's a small catalyst action which inverted the pyramid of the power centers and suddenly the power centers became what I call service centers. So financial information, data is honestly exhibited uh, in the organization and communication channels are open. It is transparent and it is open. The second thing you do is for making the management as accountable to the employees, we experimented with the 360 degree tool. And I say this experiment because this experiment is only a five year old experiment and I think we need to do a lot more to declare success. We said that instead of discovering leaders, leaders should emerge. And the way the leaders could emerge is by their influence on the influence zone, which is the employees. So if we ask the employees to do the 360 degree of the managers, we find the employees are not interested in doing it because what is in it for me? So we said, what happens if the managers are asked to show the results of the 360 degree survey to the employees who gave the survey, suddenly we make the connection, we make the collaboration happen. So I started this exercise in 2005. For the first time in 2005, there were 30,000 employees in HCL. Today we are 57,000 employees. I made my 360 degree available to all employees, the people who gave me feedback and the people who did not give me feedback. And I said that that feedback is so important for me that it will bring about a change in the way I manage because that is my constituency, that is the place I want to create a value. When the manager saw me doing it, they gained trust in saying that, hey, why don't we do it? Because that's a great way of communicating with my employees and getting their feedback. The more and more people do it. Today in HCL, there are 3,500 managers who participate in the 360 degree survey and they share the results with all the employees who gave them feedback. What does that mean? That means two things. First, as a CEO and as a manager, when you're sharing your 360 degree, you started the process of reverse accountability. Once the feedback comes and it is out in the open, you clearly know who are the man managers and who are not the man managers who are supposed to be good in individual contributors like the technical functions. Now, because it, the result is public, you do not use it for evaluation. You use it only for development purposes 
and the leaders will automatically move towards higher man management role or higher individual contributor load depending on the feedback they're getting. I do not believe in HCL. We could have found any other way of inverting this pyramid so effectively, discover emerging leaders and getting the leaders automatically to gravitate towards their area of strength. That is another catalyst we used which is very effective.